What is up everybody, Dak Down Away here bringing you guys another Armor Core 5 build video. And this one, I'm not even sure if it's a beginner's guide video, it's just, I'm gonna say it's requester's guide video because earnestly in this game, uh, this build, well this AC is a bit ineffective as it was in the past Armor Cores, but you know, let's have fun with it. This is a blade AC, like, specified and built from the ground up to use blades. Um, and you see from the outset I have the Utica and the Moonlight. And on my shoulder I have Jammer. And I'm carrying, you know, you can just see these things. But let's get into it further depth. Let's go. Alright, starters I'm running the Utica Blade. I'm running it, uh, it's actually slightly modified. Not too good. Uh, but it's only modified for the blade length. Um, here's the thing. With this one, it can have an exceptionally long blade. Uh, that's why that's why I ran this one. I, a little birdie told me about this one a while back, and he was like, "Run this one to give a long blade." I was like, "Hmm, hmm, a little scratch in the beard. Hmm, it's pretty good. We we'll use that. Hold on to that. Put it in my back pocket. Bam! Here's my back pocket, and I show you the blade. Hi out. So use this one for. I use this one because it had an exceptionally long blade. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. This is a build video. Starting at the legs here. All right, I'm running lightweight bipedal legs. I lightweight bipedal. Makes sense. Um, I, I'm running these because they have uh, quite the load capacity, even though it's only lightweight compar uh, compared to the other ones who just don't light a candle to it. So I'm running with these. The, the load on it is really crucial because I have to like you know, cut some things out so I can get in there. But uh, they seem to be working pretty well. They do a great job. You can, if you possibly like ultra need to, go to bipedal mediums and pick up the slightly upgraded version to it. The only difference between it is that it, it gains a hundred and uh, hundred and like eighty pounds. Everything goes up. A few things like mobility goes down, and you know just the things that make you a lighter unit. It goes down, but everything else goes up. But it's up to you if you want to run that or not. Um, if it's really that big of a deal, if it's not that big of a deal, you can run this because it's still really nice. Or you can run the these right here if you want to go up min as minimalistic as possible, move as fast as you possibly can. All right, with FCS glance. Um, I always run glance for my, you know, lightweight, moving around units. Normally in this situation though, I would run like a wide angle, but um, I'm a bit heavy for it, and it's uh, no, I'm a bit. It is a bit heavy for me, and um, when you're blading, you probably want a quicker lock on anyway. If I want to run a sub computer though, um, moving the generators. I know I've known start cores that are already this far into it. High vital because of the energy recovery, these are laser blades, these take energy, so just run that energy recovery, that's what we're running with this one. The tepate is because it's pretty light, and um, you know, when you're crunching numbers on how much you can carry, you gotta run, you gotta start crunching numbers. And I ran this one because uh, it, the weight is all right, you know, the energy consumption is too much, so that's why we still have a higher energy recovery. And when you run a high high output generator with low capacity, well, uh, low consumption, uh, booster and you're a lightweight AC, you still move relatively quick, so no big deal. But if, it, if it's if it's a must, you can jump to high acceleration, you know, it's still possible for you to do this. But you gotta watch your weight, because see, you can barely make weight here, so it's not a bad idea if you can if you run this or not. It all depends on you, what the energy recovery does to get hit. Um, recon unit, I don't have recon unit, due to weight constraints. Yeah, like, I'm over, every time. So no recon units, <laughs> unfortunately, those are the weapons. Now, the, the beauty to all of this is the energy amplifier. I mean, I was I was running in some matches, and this guy's like, oh, look at you, tiny little AC, 25K. Oh, you're so tiny, so cute. I'm going to kill you one hit. I was like, all right, cool. And then I charged him. One slice. We'll both of them. Plink them up. He was like, damn. Now I ain't got no secrets for you. This is it. Um, but if you, you want to be the biggest, heaviest hitting thing out there, uh, upgrade your blades to like to specialize in power and run energy amplifier, and you should be like knocking one hit all day and night. Thing is though, better make them hits count because you're running out of energy extremely quick. Uh, but um, on, on my back, I'm running a jammer to you know lower the mobility if need be. Uh, another case is you, you want to run two jammers, one for FCS, which uh, be this one, so that when you're, let's say you're ninja-ing around the 
the map. No, you don't. Can't, you can't really shoot nobody. So you're ninjing around the map. You shoot up, shoot off some jammers. So when that they come in closer, or whatever, they can't get a good lock on you. So you can use your mobility against them and, and win that way. Or you can run uh, this and interfere with their movement, so you can get a nice decisive hit on your opponents. You know that that kind of thing works. It's it's worked. You no, know, it worked for me. It worked on me. So I'm so I'm passing these tactics. Art for the head. I'm running Arthur. While well, I'm running Arthur, there's like the first aid you get. But when it comes down to it, in terms of lightweight energy consumption and everything, when it boils all the way down to the nit grit, it was just the best part for the situation. Um, I could have run an R2D2 head like this one, and and did that, but. I was looking at the injury recovery, it may not be too much, but, you know, I kind of want some defense. You can run an R2-D2 head if you feel the need to, but earnestly, like, sometimes I kind of feel like cosmetics is at least some... That's an ugly ass head, okay? If it really came down to the to, to the butt cheeks and the grits, I'd have probably run a head like this, but we're going for some type of cosmetics here, so this looks kind of cool. Okay, you gotta bear with me. Uh, it just it has the best uh, you know innards you know, you know the guts you know the, the stability camera jamming and scanning performance it's had the best out of all the KE I could run trusty dusty Beowulf but um scanning performance sometimes you want to know who like who 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 you messing with you know what I mean you know who's out there coming for it because you can't run up in there and and just guns blaze because you have no guns so run this one uh, run Arthur so you can like. You, know, you have to ninja your way in to use these effective. It's a lot harder to use blades in this game. Alright. Uh, for cores, we're running wooden. Why? It's the lightest one. Ernest is it's because it, that was, it's the lightest one. If you look at the weight, it's the lightest one. It has the lowest energy consumption as well. Um, and one thing you can do though, if you want to, you can run the 100% upgrade to uh, wooden, Wudan, and run Cert. If you want to. Like, it's possible. It's whatever, but I just went with the lightest one. It is completely possible to run certain if you want to. Everything is across the board better than this one. Except, you know, weight energy and such. But if you really want to, you can run certain. It's not a bad part at all. Love it. Um, here is where, remember the energy amplifier? This is where the energy amplifier gets the full effect. Run some arms that can accommodate shoot, shoot holder unit. That's what I was going to say, shoot holder. Two shoulder. See that? two shoulder units so that you're using double the like your energy amplifier times two right all right two shoulder units two energy amplifiers basically and that's when your powers are cataclysmic i'm talking about you're one hitting people if you run both blades you're cutting down heavy acs like well not heavy acs they have good thermal resistance but like medium acs you're cutting down to pi out you know that's what these come in um they're kind of heavy no firing stability but you know they get the job done the other a, uh, arm I have, or I think it's the one I'm just saying the arm I have for sure. There's probably at least one more shop that I didn't buy. They can accommodate two, it's really, really heavy, so that's why I ran this one. Uh, accommodates two shoulder units, which gives you time to have, well, gives you the option to hold two and amplifiers so you can really come out there on top and like slice real good. Now, uh, I, I ran the moonlight because it's the hard hit, it's the, it's the heavy hitter. It takes a lot of energy, but it's the heavy hitter, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, like, you sometimes you just need a heavy hitter. It, it's, it hits hard with a low interval with an average blade length, but it takes a lot of energy. Sometimes, you know, you gotta remember which arm is on, what blade is on what, because you want to swing two times when your energy is at 100%, and you think you got a really decisive pick, because if you do, that AC is done. I mean, completely done. It's a wrap. But that's my Blade AC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually have a small snippet later on after this part so you guys can see. Um, if you have any more requests, by all means, there's a video in the, in the an there's been an annotation on the screen the entire time. Top, you can put all your requests into that video, and I'll pick up your video. Uh, your pick up, I will pick up your request as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the little snippet at the end. I'll let you boys from the Dig Dug himself. Follow me on Twitter. Scan mode. System. Combat 
Thank you. 